From the origins of Rapunzel to Frozen, here are your top 10 dark fairy tale origins that will terrify you. In our number 10 spot, we have Snow White. I'm sure you will all remember the infamous tale about Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Snow White's stepmother, the evil queen, was jealous of Snow White's beauty, and so she creates a plan to poison Snow with an apple. Well, apparently, this tale has been washed down quite a lot, as the the original tale is said to be a lot more, well, kinda inappropriate. The evil queen not only wants Snow dead in the original, but she also wants her liver and lung to be served for dinner. So the evil queen is a cannibal. Well, I can see why they wanted to change the story up a bit. <laughs> in the origin story, the queen is forced to dance to her death wearing hot iron shoes. Yeah, that definitely is a reflection of the time the story was written in. Also, apparently Snow White isn't awoken by true love loves kiss, but actually by the bumpy ride on the horse's back as the prince is carrying Snow back to the castle. Perhaps the executive decision to change the story really was such a good call. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button as it will really help us out. In our number 9 spot, we have Rapunzel. Okay, obviously Rapunzel was going to make it on this list because, well, the whole premise of her story is her being stolen from her family and locked in a tower. Already a very terrifying story when you think about it. But actually, the Brothers Grimm version is way more terrifying. <laughs> Rapunzel gets taken and held in a tower and one day invites a prince into it and she gets pregnant. <laughs> After she begins to complain that her clothes are too tight around her belly, the witch who stole her chops off her hair and sends her away, disposes of her. <laughs> the prince, returning to see Rapunzel, gets thrown off the tower and is blinded by thorny bushes. He eventually finds his family after wandering around for a while. Yikes. Well, certainly having the princess be pregnant and sent away for being pregnant is quite horrific and scandalous, so it makes sense as to why that small detail was erased. In our number eight spot, we have The Little Mermaid. The original story of The Little Mermaid is terrifying. The Little Mermaid took her own life. After doing research for this, I now know that this version is the original. She took her own life because she was heartbroken because the prince married someone else. So sad. She jumps through hoops for him and even thinks about killing him before she jumps into the ocean and takes her own life. Honestly, I can see why some moms are cautious about this tale. In our number 7 spot we have Pinocchio. Apparently in the origin story, Pinocchio kills Jiminy. What? And he sells the book that Geppetto gets by selling his last coat. While researching, I also learned that the structure of the story kind of follows the stories of peasants at the time and how they would venture out into the world, but were naively unprepared for what they would find, and this was due to the industrialization of Italy. Interesting stuff. Side note, <laughs> whenever I hear the name Pinocchio, I can't help but to say it like Geppetto does, Pinocchio. <laughs> In our number 6 spot, we have the princess and the frog. There are a few versions of the princess and the frog, and they may surprise you to hear. Although after hearing the Little Mermaid's dark past, possibly not. This Disney movie is not very much like its original counterpart, the Frog Prince. In the Frog Prince, we still have the lovely princess that kisses the frog, but she is deeply disgusted by the frog for tricking her into making a deal, and apparently she throws the Frog Prince against the wall and breaks his spell. There is also another version where she cuts the frog's head off. And then another version where the frog tries to sleep on her pillow, which makes no sense to me. I suppose I would have to see it, but it sure sounds creepy. The one where she chops her head off though, damn. That is intense. <laughs> I'm glad they took that out of the Disney version because I feel like that would have definitely changed the vibe of the film. In our number five spot, we have Frozen. Okay guys, I'm going to tell you about the origins of Frozen, but then I want you to let it go. The Snow Queen in the origin story is actually evil and takes a young boy and keeps him with her power and will only free him if he solves a puzzle and spells the word eternity? I don't understand. Then a girl with a heart filled with love comes and saves the boy with her power of true love. So not quite the story about sisterly love, but it is about romance love, so possibly not too far from the point of Disney's Frozen, that love is so much more powerful than fear. In our number 4 spot we have Sleeping Beauty. Another dark fairy tale for you. This is sort of the origin of Sleeping Beauty, never one of my favorites to be honest. The dress was for sure. I love anything pink. Anyways, apparently in the origin story, the prince's mother was part 
Ogre. Yeah, that shocked me too. But not only that, she wanted to eat Sleeping Beauty for dinner because she was an ogre. Apparently also in the origin, Sleeping Beauty wakes up from her long sleep because one of her twins is eating her finger or sucking on her finger because she apparently conceived and gave birth to twins while sleeping. It's all deeply disturbing and I wish I could unlearn this one. <laughs> in our number three spot, we have Beauty and the Beast. The classic tale of Beauty and the Beast is one that touched the hearts of many when Disney put out their version. But like every other fairy tale on this list, there were many parts that were altered for the PG Disney versions. For example, in the origin, the Beast was actually put under a spell by a dark fairy who fails to seduce him. Honestly, that makes sense. A woman scorned is a scary thing. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned is a popular phrase for a reason. Apparently the Beast takes pure Belle and forces her to have her hands chopped off by threatening to take her father. Apparently there is also another version where she chops her own hands off so that she is not as attractive to her brother or father. Ah, yeah, I'm super uncomfortable. In our number two spot we have Cinderella. The origins of my favorite fairy tale Cinderella are kind of all over the place. There are so many versions of Cindy as this is one of the most used plot lines in movies, TV, and books. But some of the oldest versions definitely definitely have a few dark twists and turns. In the Brothers Grimm, doves are sent to Cindy from heaven and the doves peck their eyes out. I don't understand. Just why? Apparently the evil stepsisters cut off their toes to fit in their shoes. Now that's commitment. And in one version, Cinderella kills her stepmother. Apparently there is a version where Cinderella escapes her incestuous father and that is just too much for me. Thank God for Disney's version. My childhood wouldn't have been the same without Gus. Gus the mouse. I just love that name. In our number one spot, we have Goldilocks and the Three Bears. And this is a story that I'm sure you have heard plenty of times in your life, if you were born in North America at least. There once was a golden haired girl that stumbled upon a cottage with three beds, three porridges, and basically three everything. Plot spoiler, it's the home of three bears who discover her sleeping in the bed. And some, she befriends them and stays for dinner. Well, in the Robert Southey's version, Goldilocks is actually an old woman, and when the bear discover her, she jumps out of the window and falls to her death. Apparently there is another version where the bears eat her, naturally. I'm Melissa Milani, your host, and I hope that you have a good day, sir.